The next library we'll want to install and set up is NGRX Store Dev Tools. And this is a really useful for developers debugging their application. We'll be checking that out pretty soon. And also we'll want to add an extension to our Chrome browser and it's called Redux Dev Tools. You could click on this link or you could just Google Redux Dev Tools. You'll find this real easily. And this is real straightforward to add this to your, your extension. You just click add to Chrome, add the extension, and that's it. You should see this icon pop up in the top right and that's it. You close that browser done and, and you're done adding your Redux Dev Tools. Now we want to install this NGRX Store Dev Tools library. Click on the documentation, it should send you right to it. And again, this is straightforward. Click on installation. And we're running Angular 9 if you're following along within the project. So we could use this one right here, copy this. Go back to the project, paste it at the root of your application in the terminal, install. And now that it's done installing, it made some changes to our package.json and also our app.module. Let's check that out. If we open up our app.module file, it adds it to the top up here, it imports it. And then also it adds it within our imports right here. Now here they have some instruments and there's a whole list of different properties you could use. Like this one, for example, is the max amount, maximum amount of states that you could have. And that kind of prevents you from eating up a lot of memory. So it's set at 25 and that's perfect. That's more than we need. And then also, if you would like to check out the other instruments options you could use, you could go back to the documentation and that is right here. And as you can see, they have a whole list of different uh, options you could use within the instruments method. And that's pretty much it for setting up our NGRX store dev tools. Now let's go and restart our application. Let's open up the terminal and then restart the application. And I have that on this window right here. So I'll just shut it down. And this is very important because we made some changes to the, the module. So let's just restart it. So npm run dev. Back here in the browser, make sure you refresh it. And then right click or hit control shift I. And then now you should have this Redux button right here. Click on that. And this is the dev tool that we'll be using to debug our application. And this is a really useful uh, developer tool. Like right here, you can see the actions that you're dispatching. Like on the left here, your actions will show up. We only have one. You can click on that and then you can see what your action is doing by clicking on the action button. This is your state button. So you can view the current state of your application by clicking on that. Then you can see the differences between the last state and the current state by clicking on this button. And we'll be going into depth on, on these three buttons in the future when, we're, when we have some actions to look at. Also, we'll, we'll have a commit button here. So let's say you have a whole list of actions here. You want to clear everything out. You click on a commit button. That will clear all your actions out. And then here is our router debugger tool where you could click on play and see the different states uh, fire off one after another. This is really a useful tool. And we'll be checking all that out in the future. But if you're at this point, you're all ready to go and we're ready to move on to the next thing. And now what we'll do is we'll install the next library and that's called NGRX Schematics. And we'll work on that next.